Hello my soccer universe, the season is not over yet, we get one additional week of internationals that we can see as kind of the season closer and then we have uh, almost a month off until uh, the new leagues kick off and there probably my content will be not review related. However, I have to say I would like to have the break start a little bit earlier but I still am always happy to see an international break coming up. And this time we have actually a competition, the one summer competition this time around in the Nations League Final Four to be played in the Netherlands. So that's going to be exciting. Uh, the first game kicking off Wednesday evening, so the day that this posts. But we also will have to look uh, at the European qualifiers who are interspersed there. So we have a full program starting from Wednesday to Tuesday, seven days in a row. No rest for the wicket, more or less. But then... Then we have to break, the break is over. But yeah, in order to see the Nations League, we almost have to go a year back to kind of remind ourselves of what was happening. This was this crazy Nations League campaign just ahead of the World Cup, where we had many teams that we wouldn't expect to be relegation threatened, with England actually being relegated from Group C. We see also France just peeped Austria by a teeny little bit. Um, and it was between Croatia and Denmark which Croatia in the end and ended up winning. Uh, Spain pipped Portugal with, I think, a last-minute goal to uh, win their group. Uh, Italy also, uh, over the surprising Hungarians who beat England, beat uh, Ger uh, Germany, but they couldn't beat Italy. So Italy make it again to the Final Four. And the Netherlands also make the second Final Four, as did Spain, Croatia for the first time. The Netherlands rather convincingly uh, over Belgium, Poland, and then Wales. So with those four, Croatia, Spain, Italy, Netherlands, the draw happened. We knew that uh, it will be held in the Netherlands and the Netherlands will play Croatia and Spain in a replay from the semi-final the last time around, which was played in Italy. Spain will play Italy again. Two really interesting matchups. I have to say uh, Netherlands and Croatia was uh, tied as usually goes Croatia's uh, way, at least as far as I can remember, in Spain and Italy. Yeah, I think those two don't match. Uh, it's not a good matchup for the Italians, so I personally would also favor Spain in that one, despite Spain being kind of in transi a transitory phase. But I also have to say what the Italians showed uh, in the last international break was also not very, very convincing. Uh, with the presence of Spain and Croatia, and, the ne and especially the ne Netherlands, uh, it's also a little bit of a nightmare with kit matchups, especially for the next round. I mean, I think the first matches are rather uh, safe. The Netherlands will play in orange against Croatia in uh, uh, navy. Spain will play in their red shirts, and Italy will wear a special 100-year all-white with a little bit gold uh, kit. But then, you mean, Netherlands, Italy would be probably an easy matchup for the final. Orange against uh, blue or maybe even white. However, if Netherlands against Spain, I cannot predict that one at this very, very moment. Um, similar would be if Spain would play Croatia or, or Croatia would play Spain, although maybe the, blue sh the light blue shirt for Spain could do. Or uh, if Croatia play Italy, that's also a relatively easy one again. So you see, this could be a tricky one and we could see some weird uh, jersey matchups. Now, of course, I ran my model as well. Who are the favorites? Thanks to home field advantage, it's the Netherlands who have actually uh, given a 58% chance of beating Croatia in the semifinal. Due to home field advantage, the Netherlands are just a tad above the others, but you see it's a very, very level. If you look at the ratings, they are 1.47 to uh, 1.28, 1.27. So it's rather, rather tight there. Italy, slight favorite over Spain, but only the slightest one. Based on the model, uh, as I said, I think if it was still Luis Enrique Spain, I, I, I would definitely give Spain the advantage there. The other teams, of course, have already been eliminated. And now, that's the Nations League, final, the, the final four. I have not decided yet whether, whether I will do a video after every game, potentially, but I'm not quite 100% yet. Uh, but I will definitely do videos on the European qualifiers. And again, let's remind ourselves how things are standing there. We talked a lot about Spain. They are second in the group behind Scotland. They lost in Scotland 
if you remember with Georgia and Norway just hanging in there as well rather tough group France already uh, cruising the Netherlands a little bit in a tight spot there, but they will not be playing because they play in the final four same goes for Italy we all which lost their first game at home to England which also puts them a little bit in a tight spot uh, against North Macedonia Ukraine and Malta but again they're not playing Croatia will also be playing but Wales Turkey Armenia Latvia will be playing but Croatia having already an, an, an uh, advantage there uh checks the Czechs and the poles will probably come out of their group austria belgium and sweden in a three-way race with belgium being the favorites there Austria having played only the minnows so far and a really interesting group in serbia hungary seeming already to be the big guys here but you know don't count out montenegro lithuania and bulgaria there and then we get to the big groups where uh slovenia started with two wins but it's too early to say anything you see it is Denmark ahead of Slovenia and then Finland to make it out of there. Um, group I also Switzerland and Romania should come out of this one. And then lastly, Portugal also should come out of their group with Slovakia, Iceland, Bosnia and Luxembourg. And everyone with a star has already already an advantage because they have at least a playoff spot secured in the current standings. A sample draw for the players would look like this, but it doesn't mean anything for now. So let's look at the matches that are happening. Um, Friday, I have to say they're all kind of a little bit so-and-so, but I think Greece Island is a pretty big one because that is whether they stay alive in uh, their respective group uh, behind France and the Netherlands. Netherlands, they could already put a uh, especially if one of those win, they could put a whole lot of pressure already on the Netherlands. Um, on this, uh, I think another one, I don't know if Denmark against Northern Ireland or any, 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 anything like that. Finland, Slovenia maybe to stay alive, but you see it's already not so super exciting there. On the second page, I think North Macedonia, Ukraine is big for both teams to stay alive in qualifying. England will probably win easily at Malta. Um, and then there are two... Uh, are we three big ones on Saturday? Later on, we have Norway against Scotland at six o'clock. That's, I think, a pretty interesting one with Norway. That's already a must win. We have Belgium against Austria. Uh, a huge one for both teams, especially Aust if Austria gets something from, from there, they will think that they maybe can even advance from that group. I also think that Portugal against Bosnia is a little bit an overlooked one. There's some history between those two. That is it. As I said, um, I'm maybe not as excited as I'm usually are for internationals because the season has been so long. I still want to give them their proper due. And so I am looking forward uh, to these matches. Let's see how much I will watch. I probably will focus on one or two games at most. But I think the Nations League Final Four is always a fun tour to a tournament. And with the final being played on Sunday, yeah. Have to see how I will do with the uh, review video, especially for the European qualifiers on Sunday. We are not here, so I don't know when I will do the review video for that one. But you know, just watch out for that, and I'll give it in the other matches as well. Any case, please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!